discovering your passion and your interests. Because what happens is when people decide to start a business, they kind of chuck aside like their own skills, their own interests and, and what they're passionate about when that is the very thing you need to look within. You, know, you need to look within yourself first because you want to build a business that you love and something that you're passionate about so that it is a, it is a joy to grow your business. It is a joy to learn something new about this business that you're building. And if you don't have passion about it, it's going to show up in, in how you handle uh, customers. It's going to show up in your marketing. Imagine you know, the jobs that you've had that you didn't have passion about anything and how you handled that job and how you maybe have presented that job. And so it's the same thing with a business. If you're not passionate about what you do, you are going to just kind of have the same feeling that you have about that job you don't like or the job that you wish to leave. And you're thinking about, you know, what it means to be passionate about something. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, Michelle, I want to make money. <laughs> I want to make money. Forget passion, forget skills, forget all that stuff. I want to make money. And yes, you do want to make money. Um, but you also want to be happy because it's about, you know, finding something that you are deeply passionate about, something that you enjoy doing and, and, and really building a business around that. Can you sustain a business you're not passionate about? Absolutely. Um, do you want to, <laughs> you know, is the question because people do better building a business around something. They can build a brand around it. They can connect with their customers around some sort of transformation that they can help their, their client or customer make. That ability to give that transformation is why people buy from you. When I started my business, you know, trying to figure out what I was passionate about and what I, I was interested in was actually um, very foreign to me because I was transitioning from this lengthy career in nonprofit services. I was lost in my career. I was lost in my job titles. I only thought of myself in terms of my next job. When I thought about my interests and passions, I only thought about them in a job-related sort of way. When I launched my business, I really had to think about what is it that Michelle is passionate about? What is it that interests Michelle? What makes me happy as a person? And that is really the question that you have to answer for yourself. Begin to think about that right now, because especially if you're coming from a nine to five, you're coming from a career, a lot of what you've done is really wrapped around a career. And that is the identity you created for yourself. And so the thing is now, now that you're starting your own business, it's time to really define you and who you are. So that is really what this is about. And so you have to think, what are you passionate about? Write down as many things as you can think of. You know, take a quiet moment and really get in tune with what it is that you enjoy. And then I want you to think about what are you really good at? You know, there's things that you're passionate about. and you know, and there's things that you're good at. Uh, what are people constantly asking you to help them with? One of the things I've always been good at is writing, especially technical writing. Um, and that's all due to the jobs that I've had. People always looked to me for that. Eventually, I found myself writing long before I had the mindset to turn my skills into a business. I was writing letters for people for free. And so I wouldn't do that now <laughs> because it does take, it takes your time and it takes away from the things that you're doing. You have to, you know, think about what is it that you're good at that people are constantly asking you to help with and, and jot it down as many things as you can think of. And then I want you to think of what do you lose track of doing and forget about whether or not these are things you think you can make money out of. Put that out of your head because that's a limiting belief. The goal here is to jot down whether it's the things that you're passionate about, the things that other people have told you that you are good at, or the things that you lose track of doing. Forget about overthinking and thinking, I can't make money off that. Don't put those beliefs in your head. Get it out of your head. That's not what this exercise is about. It's about getting in tune with the things that you like, the things that you're passionate about. 
And then you want to think of what are your experiences? What have you overcome that could be that could enable you to help someone else experience the same transformation? And so I like to call this the overcome list. And when you write this list for the first time, it is actually, you know, for me, it was actually emotional. It was emotional. It was um, earth shattering for me because we get so caught up in all the things we can't do and all the limiting beliefs that we put in our mind. Because sometimes we are our biggest roadblock to our own success. And, you know, when we think about all of the things we overcome, and I want you to go way back, go way back, go way back to childhood, go way back to, you know, your first memories. And think about all of your experiences. Because if you're watching this video, that means you're still living. And so that means you survived whatever it is that, that happens. And I want you to write it down and write it out because these are all things that go into who you are and the type of businesses you can you know create you know around your experiences your skills and your interests so complete your overcome list write everything down from childhood to present you know as we wrap up you want to take everything that you've come up with your passions and your interests your things that people have told you that you're good at, things that you find yourself getting lost in, things that you've overcome, and you want to brainstorm, brainstorm, because in there is your next business idea. In there is your story. In there is all the things that you can help someone else achieve, or you can help someone else do. You can help someone else. Uh, you can transform someone with the things that you already know. So you don't have to learn something new to start your business. And think of this as a skills or life assessment. But just like you task everything out when you're listing things on your resume, create a life resume. What is, and this is really what this is about. This is your life. What is it on, you know, what skills and experiences can you extract from your life that you can turn into this? You're going to take this information and you're going to, transform this information into actual uh, things that you can do to now launch you know your business um, you're going to think of different ideas to wrap around all of the things that you came with you know in you know in your passion and interest in your um in any of your life experiences things that you've overcome things that people have told you you're good at and also things that um, you get lost in because that is what you want to see, what kind of business ideas you have in there.